This tutorial looks at ratio analysis and how to go about conducting an analysis of ratios. We've got company A and company B. Company A, let's say, has a net profit of 100,000 Rand. Company B has got a net profit of 1 million Rand. Which company would you say perform better? Company A with 100,000 or company B with a million Rand? Obviously, everyone would say that company B has performed better than company A. It's performed better by 900,000. But is this necessarily true? What if I put it to you that last year, the profits made by these two companies was 50,000 Rand for company A, so it's improved by 100%. And for company B, it's 5 million Rand, so it's decreased, it's performed worse by about 80%. What if in order to get 100,000 Rand net profit, there was an investment of only 2 Rand in company A? So 2 Rand gave you 100,000 Rand profit. Whereas in company B, an investment of 2 million Rand gave you a net profit of a million Rand. What if the competitors of company A in its industry obtained an average net profit of 90,000 Rand. And it achieved 100,000 Rand. Versus the situation in company B where the industry average for net profit is 1.3 million Rand, so 300,000 Rand more than the million Rand it managed to achieve. Would your answer still stay the same? Clearly not. Clearly, company A has performed better than company B, even though the net profit is less than company B. Now, what does this mean? It means that when you're conducting a ratio analysis, it's not just enough to calculate the figures. For you to get the truth behind the figures, you need to compare these figures to something else. Firstly, compare it to prior years. The net profit of this year, how does it compare to the net profit of last year? Secondly, compare to some sort of other appropriate figures in the financial statements. In this instance, we used investment. So the net profit, how is it in comparison to the investment put in to the business? Lastly, you want to compare it to some sort of industry or to competitors or to some sort of benchmark. So it's prior years, it's other figures on the financial statements, and it's some sort of benchmark or industry. Doing this comparison will provide you with the takeaways needed.